Welcome to this video, one of a series for the solution that showcases EMC Blob Storage Management for Microsoft SharePoint, enabled by Metalogic Storage Point, protected by EMC Replication Manager. The content of this video will be an architecture overview of the solution and a video to show how to externalize a content database with Storage Point. We have a SharePoint farm with content databases of 4.3 terabyte in total on block tiered storage and a 1 terabyte file share on file tiered storage. Metalogic Storage Point is installed to integrate with SharePoint. The SharePoint blobs are then externalized to a lower tier of storage with Metalogic Storage Point. We show how that the SharePoint content databases can be seen to be much smaller, thus freeing up space on the higher tier of storage. We show how the one terabyte file share is migrated into the SharePoint farm. As it's migrated, the metadata in SharePoint grows for this added content. EMC Replication Manager is introduced to protect the block content with Snap View and file content with SnapSure. We'll now show you how to externalize Microsoft SharePoint blobs with Storage Point in a few steps. You create a storage endpoint for the blobs. You create a storage profile that dictates how the blobs are externalized. You create storage profile timer jobs. You can then analyze and estimate the space savings and then either save or run the job. We are going to select storage endpoints and create a new endpoint. When we select create a new endpoint, we then go and fill in the details for this endpoint. We ensure that we select file system and then we're also going to have a path to this file system that we enter and of course we don't want to forget we'll go and give this endpoint a name. We test the storage settings and if it succeeds it will then go and create the storage endpoint for us. There we can see it. Then we go and select storage profiles and we go and create a new storage profile. We give the storage profile a name We then go and change content database and we make sure we've selected the content database we'd like to externalize. We then go and add an endpoint. We go and add the endpoint that we created for this job. We now go and we save the storage profile and there we can see it's created. For advanced configuration we click on the storage profile jobs tab and there we can go and select the master server and the worker servers that will take part in this externalization. We can now select analyze an estimate and that will show us how many blobs will be externalized for this content database. We now go back to the job and we're going to run it now rather than schedule it to run at a later stage. We go to job status and there we can see this externalization is busy running. We go and take a look at resource monitor and we'll see CPU utilization and disk utilization has gone up. Back in the job we can see it is running and on the back end of the array we can see that the file system throughput has increased. Back monitoring it we can see it's increasing, this is obviously over time 
And over time there we can see how that the array backend IO has taken off to externalize. And that is essentially how you do RBS using MetaLogic Storage Point for SharePoint blobs. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to click on the other links for videos relating to this use case and download the white paper on the link provided below. Thank you.